Hello lovely people, welcome back. Just uh, a quick update on the chickens. Uh, now the four that have hatched out are a week old. So here they all are. The four little chicks, a week old now. Any suggestions for names would be good. They're all quite different. And we're keeping them in this little um, sort of nursery within our chicken enclosure. Just so they can interact with all the other chickens. And the guinea fowl. Today we're harvesting our pears. This is our trusty farm tractor, it's a Kubota B6000 from 1976. So this is our pear harvest, we have about 120 kilos of pears, 250 pound in weight. Um, and three different types of pears. We aren't too sure on the types of pear we have, but uh, we're pretty sure that 
one of them is the Portuguese pear, the Pera Rocha. Here's a picture of the three types. If anyone can identify them, um, let us know in the comments, would be great. And now we're going to pick a few figs. What we have found with a lot of the figs we have here, uh, the best way of telling if they're ripe is just if they're soft, not necessarily by their colour. So there we have a little basket of figs, and I've just remembered we borrowed a sun dehydrator of our good friends Dave and Julie. Um, they've taken it back, so it looks like I'm going to have to make my own. So, we'll grab some of these. A bit of this. Mm. These bits. and some tools. So basically all I'm doing here is making a, a box to fit the two drying trays in um, and it's got to be ant proof because we have lots of ants here so um, ants love sweet stuff so we've got to keep them out. Just fixing it all together with a gas powered nail gun um, and then cutting the perspex to fit the top and using a piece of TNG just to fit the perspex into because it's sagging in the middle. The piece of timber also serves as a vent because uh, there's going to be a lot of condensation when the figs are drying. So just here as a, as a catch to stop uh, the wind blowing up or whatever, I'm putting in, uh, drilling some holes in the prospect and putting a couple of staples with just a um, couple of wooden pegs to push through the staples just to stop the lid opening. Now all that's left to do is cut all the figs in half and lay them in, in the trays. When they're dry the figs will be stored in an airtight container for future use. There, and now they can sit in the sunshine for maybe two days and they'll be totally dry. So the remaining figs, we cut them in half, lay them on a tray and uh, Ange is going to put them in the freezer. And now onto the pond. Um, I hired a mini digger for a couple of days to, to dig it out. We've got some still shots, unfortunately no video footage. Um, so we started digging where we wanted it and then discovered a huge lump of granite in the middle. So we made it wider um, to give us more volume of water basically. 
Then we filled three to four hundred sandbags with the soil that we dug out to the uh, shape that we wanted going around the massive boulder that we discovered while we were digging. Then we put the liner in and uh, filled it with rainwater from the roof. This pushed the liner into all the gaps so uh, it allowed us to build stonework on the top without a fear of uh, it splitting in the future with the weight of water. I then built a stonework feature uh, on, on top of the sandbags and then we added the filtration system to these uh, series of perforated pipes and we topped off with gravel and then sand on top of that and then we planted in top of the sand and let it fill up the water. And here's a series of still photographs just showing the progress of the pond. I'd just like to mention the filtration system we use is a basic air pump system which just uses a rising column of air inside a tube um, to, to make the water rise to the surface and then uh, it's re-filtered by the plants. So these next few shots are the pond as it is today. Um, the water is nice and clear. Uh, we do have a little bit of an algae problem which is why you'll see we have a couple of sail shades um, put up over the pond just to keep the sun off uh, and hopefully control the algae until we have enough plants that um, algae won't be a problem. And these are some shots I uh, took this afternoon of the, the pond in its current state. I uh, still need to finish the edges. I haven't quite decided how to do that yet so but we'd love some suggestions in the comments and, uh, and then we'll probably do another video about finishing it all off. I'd like to make it a bit deeper. The fringes uh, for the plants are a little bit shallow. Um, it would stay cooler if it was deeper. We're hoping that the shallow areas around the deep part uh, will fill with plants eventually, which uh, will obviously shade the water, keep it cooler and also control all the algae. Thanks for watching guys, see you next week.